Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Morax with another video. Well, first video now. And everybody been saying start a YouTube, start a YouTube. And here we are, and we got rollback Ruben behind the camera. What's up, guys? We got a Q and A. There's been a lot of questions on this car and what's done to it and all that. It's, it's a simple, like simple, 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 simple build. <laughs> So we got, when can I tandem with you? To answer that, bro, a lot of people ask me that and it ain't even like on no cocky shit or anything. I just don't, I can't run with random folks. And the last thing I want to do is be out there in a the pit feeling uncomfortable running with somebody that I don't know. If you could drive and I see that you could drive, then let's run it. Uh, what'd you do to the car to make it sound like that? As far as that go, if you're talking about the exhaust, you got two edge, I think it's like cheap eBay headers, speed engineers. Uh, two inch speed engineering headers back to a full three inch and it's just fully straight from there and it got eBay exhaust tips four inch How much PSI do you run through a pro charger? We run eight pounds. I think it's like 8.2 or something like that. What made you want to build a bed? And look at it, bro Look at it. You can't go wrong with that. Nah, but Pro for real came with an LS so you didn't have to LS swap it and then second They just got a shit ton of support and on top of that you could basically go and buy C6 parts anywhere, you know? So that was that's why I did a bet. How old were you when you bought your first bet? And how much did you buy it for in all the mods you did? Uh, first bet was, I think it was 19? 19 or 18, I don't remember. This was back in 2021. So yeah, about 19 or 18. But that bet, we just really didn't do too much. But this one, I bought this one at 20 years old. And as far as buying it, we bought, we gave 20 grand for it. What to look for when buying one used. As far as vet goes, 05, 05, don't buy that year. Like, unless somebody actually went in there, fixed all the electronic problems and fixed everything as far as like the rear ends. The rear ends just literally grenade in the motherfuckers. So don't buy an 05 vet. And then you could just basically buy everything from a 06 to a 2013. One big thing I would say to look out for is if you're buying a rebuilt title or if you're buying one that's been wrecked or any type of accidents, try to stay away from like the front end wreck shit because they have a shit ton of frame issues in it. Just buying an LS in general, watch the oil pressure, check the oil, see if there's any shavings in it. And yeah, just little things like that. Just be healthy, you know? What's all done to the vet? As far as what's done to it, we got engine wise, we got a cam. Don't know what was cam that's in it. We bought it just the way that it was. Uh, so the engine hasn't been touched or anything, like as far as me. It has a fast 102 intake, P1X Pro Charger blower on it with the stage two belt kit, ID third ID 1050s, and DSX aux fuel fuel system. So that's, that's as far as we got. Just two inch headers and full exhaust. What RPM do we got the two step set to? Uh, let's go ahead and see. It's set to 6300 or 64, and it is a Lingen filter. So, if you are looking for one, if you do want one, Lingen filter, MSD, same shit. I just went with Lingen filter because it's like a preface thing, you know. What made you start drifting and doing donuts? I'm not gonna lie, it's just been one of them things that's just there to do on a weekend, and once you start doing it, there ain't no going back out. Like, you're just always gonna do it. Like, you know, that's why I hustle so hard every day to try to make a living so I can get my better, better life. <laughs> so are you gonna keep this car for a minute or switch it up to a new vet? Uh, I don't think there's no parting ways with this one. Like, just as far as like what I have in it and like everything, I just don't see myself ever getting it back. So it's like, you just wanna keep dumping money into it until it's done for, you know? Then what do you do for work? I'm a scrapper. We just get down and dirty. Not just playing. <laughs> we, we we recycle vehicles. We buy junk cars, sell parts, and then crush them. That's what I do for a living. And then just a little bit of everything as far as that goes. Like buy and sell anything that I can make money from. Like mainly cars, car parts, and everything like that. How much to the wheel are you making on the vet? It is making 693 right now. And it's 693, and then it got turned down to 689, so it can have a cleaner tune on it. What wheels do you have on a vet? We got Cosmos XT 005R. And as far as spec goes, 18 by nine. 
I don't know the offsets in the front or the rears, but I know it's 18 by 9 and 18 by 10. We run a 225, 35, 18, and a 245, 35, 18 in the rear. Is the C6 the best car you had, or is it is it the gray one? I don't know. Like, I loved my gray one because it was it was just a trooper as much as this one was. Like when I bought this car, I was a bit scared. I'm like, man, I hope it could withstand it, bro. Cause like the gray one had a 4A stroker in it. This one is stock bottom end. There ain't nothing done to the bottom end. Just heads. No, not not even heads. Just cam, springs. It's not even studded, bro. Like it just we just raw dog in life, bro. I had to pick this one over the gray one the way that this one currently sits i would say this one but if i did everything to the gray one the gray one just had a special place in my heart why did i sell it if anybody was wondering uh we sold it because i got a c7 thought i could make the c7 what i wanted it to be but them things just filled up with electronics and they just it just sucked when and where did you learn how to slide just go to an empty parking lot and just give it hell and just have fun how do you keep Banging red line, red line without uh, breaking the motor every time. Need answers. There ain't nothing done to it as far as bottom end goes. It should be a stock bottom end. I haven't touched it. Reebok I bought it from said they haven't touched it. And yeah, just very, very big on cooling. And on top of that, my red line is set way lower than what people have their sets to. Mine's a set to 6300 RPM. But the bigger radiator oil coolers is on the fan switch that piggybacks over uh off the stock cable and just runs off a switch and then each cooler in the front that was customly done at rb along with the bash bar robert the fucking goat back to what i was saying there's two fans on each cooler down there and when i'm sliding they running and i didn't even have the cooler i had a cooler just a baby little one on there and now it's even worse like this thing does not get hot like you see it throwing flames and all that shit but i'm literally like a little over uh hot bro like maybe banging 230 bro and that's it and then once i'm done just once you're done beating on your car let it run a little bit let the coolant circulate through it says don't hurry up and be like oh i'm gonna turn it off and it'll cool shit down no that's how you blow shit up because you're gonna just make a, a shit ton of pressure and that's when you start blowing shit up you know so as far as angle kit goes we got a wise fab full uh front angle kit on it bro perfect like it drives great like you can't even tell that it's on a uh that it has any suspension work done to it and as far as coilover go we got the fill 441s and both angle kit and coilovers we did buy from Woot young and bro he's he's he's, he's a very very good dude great customer service great pricing and literally if you have any questions about the kit he literally kind of held my hand and walked me through how to put it on and just very overall just a good dude and yeah if you ever need c6 coilovers go ahead and hit him up my bad i'm shaking i'm all over the place cold as shit somebody asked when did we buy the car we bought the car back in april and not and how long did it take me to mod it as far as right uh, right off the rip when i bought it i got a wise fab knuckle only you don't have to buy a complete angle kit you could just put a knuckle on it and it'll be perfect like you can do whatever you want for real i just want to just have it you know type thing uh wise fab knuckle coilovers radiator and 160 thermostat i forgot about that i need that shit if you got an ls and you're beating on it bro put a 160 thermostat in that shit asap and a fan switch and i think that's all right that's all we put on it when we bought it and wheels uh what else wheels tinted it did the headlights and tail lights that's gone we'll get back there in a second kind of pissed but it's okay shit happens um but yeah from there from april all the way up until when the last time we went to house of power what? two months yeah up until two months ago or a month ago we was in house of power and right before that event the clutch went out not even the clutch but the slave cylinder so i went upgraded the master slave and put a new clutch in it and then took it to house of power broke the clutch and then brought it back after that and then put another clutch in it and then found a blower on marketplace for a deal couldn't pass it up if y'all were if y'all wondering what i paid for the blower we paid four thousand for the kit and then 700 for the lower balancer and then another 400 for random shit that it was missing and then yeah that's what the blower cost it to do and then we broke it we broke it like right after bro it broke right after so yeah that's what the blower cost it and the bash bar i guess a couple people that asked about that 
can't really see it, but this thing is sturdy, bro. That was done at RB Adrenaline Factory, Robert Bell. Don't worry about my lip, all right? That happened loading it up on the trailer. Like, I should just really just kick it off right now. I, I just... No, 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 no. Fuck it. It happens. Uh, but, yeah, he did that, and it still needs more pieces done to the bash bar to finish it up, but I was just in there, bro, rushing them. And he got this thing done in, like, a couple of days, bro, and you cannot beat that for, like, a removable bash bar. That bash bar literally come apart if it ever hits anything, and boom. I'm wondering where I got the headlight from. Headlights came from NSK. Uh, they be plugging on Mirror Moto. So if y'all need Mirror Moto shit, tires, alignment, any of that shit, bro, they the fucking plug. As far as fueling goes on the car, we got ID 1050 injectors, uh, flex fuel sensor from DSX Ox, no, DSX Performance, and then we got a DSX Ox fuel pump, like inline, and that's what's basically powering this thing right now and it's on e85 full e85 look at the car talk about my fucking tail light but it's stupid story behind it so one tail light we lit i literally spent 600 on these tail lights waited from when i bought the car in june all the way up into like august finally got the tail lights back ordered like a motherfucker well they wasn't even back order it was like a pre-order on the new lights throw them in and something happened and somebody didn't tell me about it and my light fell out in texas so boom one light hit and then went to florida another one fell out and then now we didn't have no we were basically eyeless on one side so i just took i had the fucking light from this side put it on that side and then now we got that fucking look it looks dope at night you can't tell but daytime this shit looks fucking hideous but i am gonna have to tell like here soon it's not even like a money thing or just me being cheap. It just, they don't have them right now. I'm not putting ugly tail lights on there. And the, the lights that I want are basically pre-ordered up until like the end of December. We got this wing, if anybody wondering. $80 eBay special. Carbon fi fiber paint. It ain't even carbon fiber. I don't give a shit. It's cool. It looks cool and it's fine and we'll run with it. As far as the interior goes, it ain't really nothing special. It's literally just stock dirty interior i'm gonna make it look pretty one day just not today but it's gonna be there because i'm more worried about the outside and the engine and everything else but like i'm almost done with all that shit as far as issues that i ever had with the car we had the slave go out and we just always like if you're doing slave just do the clutch do the slave flywheel do the master and just master tech performance sell a dope ass master and that shit works bro i'm not gonna lie if you got a spongy feel in your clutch where you gotta lift that shit back up with your feet tick performance bro that's the one yeah i think that's it and then that's the only thing that's modded in the interior is two steps in the fans right here and then this is for the radiator fan <laughs>